Okay, welcome back. 20 degrees below zero. You want to go ice fishing and you're going to put a tip up up. Almost impossible with any traditional one. Even the ones that sit down into the hole are going to get iced up. So the idea of a heated tip up um, may be uh, maybe something you're looking at. $100 if you're going to buy them, give or take. And uh, I saw a video, YouTube video, and I'll put the link on this because i got to give him props for, uh, for coming up with this idea. He copied one of the boxes that are out there. And, uh, and so I copied his design, and I'll explain it. Um, what I did, it's a, it's a, I don't know, it's a little bit more insulated. So um, the idea is that this is going to be something you put out and won't freeze at any temperature. Um, so we'll, we'll get into it. First thing, um, insulated. So the box has insulation. This is one inch insulation all the way around it. And uh, if you look here, um, you can see that uh, just I secured the insulation. This is the top. And um, you know those little dividers in your tackle box? I actually use those as plastic uh, washers to hold the, the stuff in place. Um, glued it to the base and um, glued it to the top. Uh, glued it to the sides, and then I, I used uh, uh, silicone uh, acrylic to, uh, to fill the gaps in. So that was the box. So uh, the 11 and a half, this is the outside dimensions, 11 and a half by 17, and the height is uh, just under 15. When you take into consideration the insulation, the actual opening is 13 and a half, uh, by eight and a half, and uh, obviously the height will be the same. So I wanted to make this out of all scrap material. I wasn't quite able to do that, um, but I wanted to. So I'll tell you what I did. I found I had half inch OSB. I primed it, painted it, and um, and that's what you've got. This uh, the lid, the, the sides. Um, I actually had to buy the one inch insulation. I didn't have it. $19 for a sheet. I used about a fifth of a sheet. So if you've got some lying around, that'll be enough. Um, the original poster did not uh, have any insulation on his, and I, I wanted to because I don't want to have a lot of a lot of heat on the inside. Okay, so um, cut this out so it fits inside, um, nice and sealed. You see, I marked it with this so I just know which way to orient it so the yellow will line up with the yellow. Obviously you can see the flag, we'll get to that a little bit. Um, th this was a little bit bigger piece, you can see we've got an overlap. Um, I don't know why I would take that off um, outside of spacing. So let's talk about when we would use this. This is really not to be used portably. This isn't something that you're going to go and you're going you're to put out 20 of these. Um, for my particular purpose, it's so I can sit in the house and right outside the window, I can have a big box that other people, we're in a little bit not very, very heavy uh, uh, traffic, they can see it so they don't hit it. Um, it's dark so it absorbs the heat up out of the snow. We a lot of blowing snow. You don't, you, know, you don't want that blowing into the hole if you've got a traditional tip up. And, um, and, I, and I want it high enough that, that I, can, uh, I can see it from where I'm at. All right, so let's take a look at how it works. Okay, so uh, let's start from the outside, or inside and go out. Um, this is just a fly reel. I got three of them, I think, for $15. If you got an old reel lying around, um, that'll be good enough. Uh, this little bracket I've got here, it's the same as the original poster. It's just a little, uh, a little L bracket. Um, I bolted it or screwed it into the side. And it's, uh, and it's sitting here, I had to put a hole in the seat of the reel, and, um, and I just uh, used a nut and a bolt and um, attached it. I think it was a lock washer, so it doesn't come off. You see there's a little bit of movement, but it's, it's fine. Um, and then how is this gonna work? So this is, uh, oh, you see on the inside here, I've got the insulation and I've got these, these here. Um, all these, these screws are holding the insulation in. Um, but how is it going to work? So what, what happens here is we've got to have a counterweight. And um, it, the original poster doesn't really talk about this, and, and maybe he just, he's just better than I am. But this is a, 
uh, this is important. So this arm, which is attached to the flag, and, and I'll talk about that first. You wanna keep this in line. Don't twist this at all. Keep this in line. And if I don't have enough counterweight here, I can't make the flag go up. When I first did this, I had the weight kind of sliding back here. And when it slid here, it, it would go up. It would, the weights would slide back here to the elbow and my flag would go down. So I bet, put a bend in it. I got two um, zip ties back to back. And the, and the reason I did two is to get it low so it doesn't run into the, into the um, handle. So this, is, uh, this can slide in and out a little bit. So we set this on here and it is now loaded. Uh, fish bites. Triggers. Now, um, I may do this. I may change this. I, if I bring this bracket out for the, a bigger bracket, bring it out farther, I can make this longer. And once I make, if I can bring it out to about here, and you'll see the original poster on the other video, then you can slide the weights up or down to change the, change the amount of pressure on it. And, um, and can kind of kind of adjust the tension that it'll take to, to get the, uh, the flag to trigger. So you could have a lot for like pike and you could have a, a very little pressure for, uh, for like perch or, or crappie. Um, this is, uh, I just took um, galvanized uh, staples and put them into the styrofoam and I used Gorilla Glue to hold them. All this is is so it doesn't pull out drilled a hole in the side it comes out the side um, I took uh, zip ties and Gorilla Glue I like my Gorilla Glue and uh, glued this and this is it's not a slammer tip up from Muskegon Mission Michigan but it is their flag um, another flags you can use is any of the Miss Dig flags anytime you have those utility flags uh, they're basically exactly the same um, so these are, are great triggers for this um, if I if this was too much weight, what I could have done, I could have cut this down and you know, had less uh, less counterweight over here needed. Um, and uh, and that's that's basically things that that I will stress is make it longer, um, bring it out. I, I'm going to try this without uh, without making it longer just to see. And um, and then you can you can put the weights on the bar. You don't have to put them out here on the tip. And uh, and then the other thing is uh, your counterweight. Just make sure that this weight is enough that when it falls down, that that flag is going to go up. Um, the base, I have nothing on the base. I have, uh, I have little uh, PVC uh, planks that I got from Lowe's. We used it for our trim in the house and I've got extra, I'll put those up so um, these will be sitting on planks. They won't absorb any water and um, and we won't get into this, into the OSB, which this is old, old OSB. Painted, sure, painted both sides and sealed it as best I could, but you know, it's not ideal. So um, what I tried was a can inside a can. So imagine like a, uh, if you have like a, a big um, oh, tuna can, one of the bigger ones, and then I had a soup can inside of it and um, set that on your planks. Remember, that I'm, I got PVC planks, you're gonna go down there. Set it on those planks and use charcoal. Two bricks of charcoal, they got uh, charcoal that you can just uh, light with the lighter. And I had it at 10 degrees, not in this box, a different box, I had it at 10 degrees and uh, it lasted for about, about three hours. So I'd have to come out, maybe it add a couple boxes if needed. The hole was completely ice free um, what would have been interesting is how long would it have remained ice-free had, um, had I let it go. But, uh, but that is basically it. Um, oh, let's go over what happens if it triggers. So <coughs> this is, uh, this fits down in there. So the flag, the flag trips, you pick the box up off and grab the rope and fight it in. What if the box is frozen? If it is frozen and you can't get it out of the ice, you certainly can pull the lid off. You can look down, and again, we have room on one side. You can look down, you can see if it's still spinning, depending on what, if you have a quick strike rig, obviously you can set the hook. If you've got a circle hook, you gotta let it do that second run. Um, and then you can reach down and you can grab, you can set the hook and, uh, and fight it in 
um, this way. What about that, that heat that's there, that's down there, or that, that plank? Um, that's gonna be up to your preference on how big the hole is. And um, if you wanted, if you knew you wanted a bigger hole, then you would just make this a little bit longer and um, keep it further away from the uh, keep it further away from the reel. You can keep your heat over here, and then you have the hole in the middle. Um, for what I'm thinking, this is mostly for walleye. Um, I think I've got uh, I think I've got enough room. So um, so that's it. Um, heated tip up, insulated. And um, total cost, oh, the, the steel rod, I bought that rod at Menards. I think it cost $2, $2.50. And then the insulation, I've got about, I don't know, $5 worth of insulation in it. Screws and everything, everything else I had on hand, if you had to buy it all fresh, you're probably looking at, uh, oh, $40. Um, probably $50, you could make three of them um, and, uh, and be fine. Uh, the, like I said, the, the reels were like five, six dollars a piece. So, uh, so that's it. Um, hope that helps. Uh, like, subscribe, uh, comments, and again, I'll put that original posters uh, video on there. He's got a little bit different design. He's got, he's got it from the hinge, and you can check that out as well. Thanks.